Perhaps you've seen the new regex functions in Excel. Regex, short for regular expression, uses a series of syntax to find a pattern within text, to locate it, extract it, or replace it. Now, if you're not familiar with regex, it does take some getting used to on which patterns you're searching for and how to search for them. There are plenty of helpful guides available online, and I'll be sure to link at least one in the description. You may already be familiar with using regex if you're a user of Python or SQL, and if that's the case, this is no different. But for those of you who haven't experienced Python or SQL, let me show you how these new functions in Excel can benefit you. For our first example, we're going to use the regex test function. And what this does is it takes a specific text, and if somewhere in that text it matches our regex syntax, it'll return true, or also it'll return false. And this is helpful in situations where you want to make sure things are in the proper format. So in our example, we've gotten complaints from staff that the email addresses on their business cards don't seem to be working when someone's trying to get in contact with them. So the manager has sent us their email addresses on each business card, and we're gonna to check to see if they're in the proper format. The correct format that these email addresses should be in is a first name followed by a period, then the last name followed by at co-op with a hyphen dot com. There should be no numbers or any other special characters. And we can do this with regex test. So I'll begin by entering our formula regex test. And the first argument is the text we want to test which will be the email address. The second argument after the comma is the pattern we want to look for, or our regular expression pattern. So I'll go ahead and enter that in, place another comma, and this one is optional. It's checking for case sensitivity. In this case, we don't really care about the case sensitivity, whether they're capital or not. So I'll just choose one for case insensitive, close our parentheses, hit enter. And I will drag that down, and you can see here we have a few falses telling us that the format does not match. Now, why don't they match? Let's go to one of our falses and check out our pattern. So this may look like a bunch of gibberish, but to break it down, within our quotations, we're telling Excel to search for any letter from A to Z, followed by one or more letters. And we're looking for one or more letters because the company policy requires the first name to begin the email. So if they're just putting their first initial, their first name, that's not gonna work we need at least two letters in order for this format to be correct. So after the first name, we have a backslash and a period. And what we're telling Excel is look for an actual period. A period in regex, if not preceded by a backslash, is considered a wildcard, meaning that any character can take its place. So it could be another letter, but with the backslash, we're telling this function to actually look for a period. Following the period, again, we want letters, more than one, and to wrap it up, we want the email to end in at coop.com. So looking at our falses, we can see Lydia Smith is incorrect because her email begins with just one letter, L, L.Smith. So we'll need to address that with her. This next false, we see Tiffany. Now Tiffany does not match Tiff, and that's okay. She may just go by Tiff or her coworkers, but our email was set up as tiffany.howard at coop.com. But the problem is that there's no hyphen within the co-op. Going further down, we have Pamela Knox. At first glance, it would seem correct, except there's no period in between Pamela and Knox, the first and last name. And finally, this last one, just have rife at coop.com. There is no first name. Even if Rife was the first name, it's looking for a period and some other existence of alphabetic character. Next up, we have regex extract. And as it sounds, we're using regular expression to find a pattern and extract that pattern from the initial string. As you can see from this bottom table here, our sales reps cover particular territories based on the area code. And after a sales expo, we have potential leads given their phone number. So we want to extract the characters representing the area code so we can identify the sales reps. Of course, there are other functions we could use in this exact scenario, such as text before and text after. But this is just an easy example of exactly how regex extract would work. So again, let's begin our function. Regex extract. Our first argument is text. So we want to look at the phone number, our pattern. Within the quotations, we're saying look for parentheses, 
specifically in open parentheses, and then a number from zero to nine. The plus symbol says we want more than one number. In our case, we're actually looking for three. So we're telling Excel to pull all the numbers before we reach this last closing parentheses. So after our pattern, we could hit a comma and you have other options like return mode. You also have case sensitivity following that. But for our example, we're only looking for the first three numbers, so we don't actually have to put those optional arguments. I'll just close our parentheses, hit enter, drag that down, and there we go. Now we can align these potential clients with the appropriate sales rep. Finally, we have regex replace. And regex replace will allow us to identify a particular pattern and replace those characters with anything we choose. In this example, we have a list of employees with their employee ID, and we need to send out some sensitive information. We wanna keep these IDs private, but still have a way to track them back to the original employee. So my intention here is we wanna keep the first two numbers and the last two numbers of each ID, and then replace the original three numbers with an asterisk. So to do that, we'll start our formula, regex replace, our first argument would be the ID column. Pattern looks a bit complicated, but to break it down for you, within the quotations, we start with this little arrow pointing up, which says, look at the beginning of the string. And within the first set of parentheses, we wanna look at the first two numbers. Following that, we wanna look at numbers three through five. So it starts at three and ends at five. And these are surrounded in these curly brackets. Finally, within another set of parentheses, we want to look at the last two numbers. In order for this to work properly, we have to add some conditions to our replace argument. So what do we want to replace it with? Well, within quotes, we're using this dollar sign and one, which is telling Excel, return the first two numbers exactly as they exist, followed by three asterisks and the dollar sign and two tells Excel to return the last two numbers exactly as they exist. Close that out with the final quotation. And again, there are more optional arguments like occurrence, how often is this happening? Are we pulling the first instance, the second instance, followed by case sensitivity? But for now, we're not worried about that. So I will close off our function parentheses, hit enter, drag that down. And now we have these confidential ID numbers that we can forward in our correspondence. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if so, go ahead, click that like button, and consider subscribing for future videos just like this one. Of course, there are alternative functions that you can use to perform the same type of tasks that we just went over. But again, Excel keeps adding to their functions library, giving you no shortage of options. Thanks for watching.